In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, we taught your church to observe all the heavenly commandments of the love of God. Help us to practice word of charities, imitation of your priest Saint Ides, and merit to be numbered among the blessed in your kingdom. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning! Hello kids! Welcome to our digital classroom. And I am so happy to see everybody is present today. And because of that, let us give our classmates a five claps and a thumbs up. Are you ready? In count of three. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, and thumbs up. Again. One, two, three, four, five, and thumbs up. Very good. So, let's begin with our daily exercise. Are you ready to dance? Say, yes, I'm ready. Show it out. Yes, I'm ready. Go die. Yes, I'm ready. So everybody, take your seats and let's relax as we have our lesson for today. But before that, please make sure that you have everything that you need. Number one is your MacBook, your notebook, a pencil, and a small whiteboard and a whiteboard marker. To always be reminded of our class rules. What are those, everybody? Thank you kids for being on time today. Make sure that you have your parents or guardians with you as we study our lessons. Always open your cameras and be silent. If you have any questions regarding to our lessons, you can raise your hands and teacher will allow you to speak. Do not chat while teacher is talking and we have our lessons. And be respectful. Respect your teacher, respect your parents or guardians, respect your classmates because you are respectful. Today, you will watch a video clip, a story of greater and less. Are you ready for what and when? Again, are you ready for what? Hello, this is Emma. Jack is her brother. They are twins. Today is their birthday. Happy birthday! Kids, it's time to cut the cake, said their mother. Jack's cake has more candles than my cake. It should be the same, cried Emma. My cake has less icing than Emma's cake, cried Jack. He has more balloons than me cried Emma. I have less juice than her, cried Jack. He has more gifts than me, cried Emma. I have less cupcakes than her, cried Jack. Both Jack and Emma cried aloud. Don't cry kids, said their mother. Share with each other and be happy, said their mother. Here Jack, take one of my cupcakes said Emma. Here, Emma, take one balloon from me, said Jack. Come, let's share our gifts too, said Emma. This is the best birthday ever, said both Emma and Jack. We love the story, kids. Now, let me know if you have learned something from the story. Let's answer some few questions and just raise your hands if you want to say something. Okay, are you ready? Say, yes, I'm ready. Again, yes, I'm ready. Who are the characters inside the story? Can you give me their names? What is the name of the boy again? Yes, he is Jack. What about the name of his twin sister? Very good. She is Emma and they are with their mother. What are the problems encountered by the twins? Let's see the picture. 
Emma was crying. Why? Because Jack has more candles on his cakes than of Emma. What about this picture? Jack was also crying because he has less juice than of Emma. And how about this one? Now Emma was very angry. Why? Because Jack has more gifts than of Emma. That was the solution of their mother. Very good. Their mother told them to share with each other and they will be happy. Remember kids to be thankful with what you have even if it is more or less and learn to share it to others. Let's say we have two mothers here. One is Mrs. Garcia and the other is Mrs. Marcelo. They bought an apple for their children. Do you love apple kids? Me too, I love apples. Mrs. Garcia bought five apples while Mrs. Marcelo bought four apples. Let's count the apples of Mrs. Garcia, everybody. One, two, three, four, and five. How many apples does Mrs. Garcia has? Very good, she has five apples. What about Mrs. Marcelo? Let's count them. One, two, three, and four. How many apples? Excellent! He has four apples. So, tell me now who has more apples? Yes, Mrs. Garcia has more apples than of Mrs. Marcelo. And with that, we can read and write this one as five greater than four. Now tell me who has less apples? Very good! Because Mrs. Marcelo has four apples only, so she has less apples than of Mrs. Garcia. And we can read and write this one as four less than five. But if you are going to observe, both of them has two red apples. And we could read and write this one as two is equal to two. Again, two is equal to to two. Remember kids, when we are comparing numbers, we can use the relation symbol like this one. This is greater than, less than, and equal to. Greater than, less than, and equal to. Can you do it? Greater than, less than, and equal to. One more time. Greater than, less than, and equal to. That is why we can read and write those numbers as 5 greater than 4, 4 less than 5, and 2 is equal to 2. Now kids, bring out your small whiteboard and a whiteboard marker and we are going to count and compare. All you have to do is write your answer on your whiteboard by telling me if it is greater than or less than or equal to. Again, write your answer if it is greater than, less than, or equal to. And then, on count of five, I will say hands up. That means you have to show me your answer. Alright? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Again, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's try number one, kids. Count and compare. One, two, three, four, and five pens up what is your answer very good that is eight greater than seven how about number two count and compare in one two three four and five show me your answer pens up very good that is five less than seven and what about number three Count and compare in one, two, three, four, and five times up. The answer is excellent. That is five is equal to five. Very good. Now, kids, we are going to sing. And while we are singing, we are going to use greater than, less than, and equal to. Again, we're going to use greater than, 
less than and equal to. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. has five items to answer and the one who has more correct answer will be declared as winner are you ready yes i'm ready again are you ready yes i'm ready all right in one minute the timer starts now And so we are down to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up. So let's see who is our winner. And the winner is, congratulations because both of you, Team Spaghetti and Team Ice Cream, got the perfect score. And because of that, all of you will have 10 points on your quiz today. Everybody deserves a 5 clocks and a thumbs up. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, everyone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and thumbs up. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and thumbs up. Very good. Always remember, kids, that if we are comparing numbers, it is greater than, less than, and equal to. Do you have any question, kids? You can raise your hands. If there is no more question, bring out your notebook and write down your assignment. Answer pages 31 to 33. You can ask the help of your parents or guardians if you are going to answer your assignment. Remember to submit your assignment next meeting. I'm going to check all your assignments. Are we clear? And with that, thank you Grade 1 St. John for being with me today. I'm so happy, I'm so glad to be with you, and so excited that I'm going to see you tomorrow. Again, this is Teacher Merle, 
loving you and telling you to love your parents every day. God bless!